All right, well, it's been a while since you guys have seen a video like this. Uh, I don't know how long it's been. It's been almost two years since I made a video showing off a piece of technology I got to add to my collection, but this time I got three. So before I show you guys quickly, I'm gonna show you guys something. Currently filming on a brand new tripod. This is a Manofrotto compact tripod as you guys can see. And it's pretty cool. Uh, this one cost me about 50 bucks. It's prefer this over the other one. You can see I've kind of showed this tripod off in a couple videos in 2018 when I still I used to have that small 50 inch tripod. And I finally got it. It just it's very cool. I like how it is. It's not as it's not as heavy compared to the uh, to the other tripod I used to have, even though it's bigger. So all right, that's enough of that. So let's get back to the video. All right, there we go. The white balance is back to normal for some reason. It was glitching. But since I recently opened up a bank account, I can finally start collecting technology for myself. So let's show off the three pieces of tech I recently collected. Bam. So let me zoom it in just a little bit. So what do we have here? We have another iPhone 4S, this time in black, and 2016 iPhone SE, and a Samsung Galaxy Tab 3. So I bought all these about two weeks ago. These two items were delivered last week, and this one was barely delivered today because the seller was away. And so yeah, that delayed shipping a bit, and then it was supposed to be delivered Thursday, but USPS screwed up, and I rescheduled delivery for yesterday, screwed up again. I was gonna go pick it up at the post office this morning, then I saw it was offered delivery, I was like, oh, okay, I guess they're gonna try this time, and they got it, so thank God for that. So, I'm just gonna show you guys uh, what do I have on these phones, just because, you know, with older phones in particular, like, let's say the iPhone 4S, they'd be running, like, different versions and they have some cool stuff on it. So, uh, we're gonna start off with the iPhone 4S. So, as you can see, I got another iPhone 4S. This one is in black because I actually kind of wanted to get a black iPhone 4S. Um, and I kind of wanted one on iOS 9 because the white one I have right now is on iOS 8. So if we open it here, you can see it's running iOS 9, as you can see. And it's nothing unusual. It's basically what you would see in every iPhone 4S out there. So if we go to general and we go to about, you can see, well, I didn't click about. You can see it is a 16 gig, oh no, it's an eight gigabyte, or, oh wait, no, it is 16. I forgot I have cool booter, and this one is on 9.3.6, locked to sprint. So, nothing too out of the ordinary about this one. It's your typical iPhone 4S that you would see on iOS 9. And yeah, I really like the color of it. My This was a color that my dad used to have with his iPhone 4S way back in the day and also one that my brother got in 2015 don't know why he got one it very late in 2015 when this thing was already on ios 9 and it was beginning to suck but whatever but yeah i do kind of have memories well i okay i remember i used to use um use my brother's forest i used it for like a day on ios 9 to try it out and let's just say the experience wasn't that good um, let me bring my white iPhone for us just to kind of show the comparison. Alright, so here's my white one right here. And this one is on iOS 8. You can, I guess, probably turn the brightness down a little bit because it's a little bright. But you can kind of see the differences. It doesn't seem too different, minus the fonts and a couple other things. This thing is slightly faster. This one still has the Nike Plus iPod app, and I believe this was the last iOS version with it. And uh, they're not too different. They don't look that different than the text and the performance is better. But now I have one in black and white and it looks really good. And I think they'll definitely help me a lot with my B-roll, uh, definitely. So this iPhone 4S again, this one is running iOS 9 just cause I kinda wanted one on iOS 9. And in the black color, I feel like, I, I don't know, I didn't really want an iPhone 4. I don't know, I just kinda like, feel like I wouldn't do much with it compared to this guy. And as you can see, I have Cool Booter on here. So, one thing when I was looking at this iPhone 4S on 3U tools, I actually saw that the battery health on this guy was 98% capacity. I was like, no way. It only had 94 charge cycles, but it was already on iOS 9. So, I don't think the seller would update it from iOS 5 to 9. He'd probably keep it on iOS 5 if it was so rare. Uh, and this model was manufactured in November 2011, so was, when I saw it, I was like, no way, I can downgrade to iOS 5 with Cool Booter. 
But you actually have to downgrade your version of Core Booter because for some reason on the newest one you can only go as low as iOS 6. So I downgraded Core Booter and I got iOS 5 running on here. So yeah, let me go ahead and show you guys. So I'm more than likely believing that the guy probably got the battery replaced. Because if he knew this thing was pretty, like I honestly don't think that he didn't know that this thing would have been rare on iOS 5. And if the battery was brand new, like I feel, I feel like that's the only logical explanation. Because if the battery was really brand new and it only had 94 charge cycles, I feel like he would have kept it either on iOS 5, probably. I'm more than positive he would have kept it on iOS 5 and not, not upgraded to iOS 9. Um, so let's let this load. And it's actually kind of a quick boot up time. And you guys are going to be presented with iOS 5, which is a pretty special version of iOS considering that, you know, this phone also in particular is a special phone because it was the last to be announced when Steve Jobs was alive. And there we go. So as you can see, iOS 5, bam, we are in the home screen. So we got the classic YouTube app, which I did get the runaround to work and I'm getting all my messages already. Um, and I, I, of course, I showed you guys that tutorial and how to get it to work. Got it to work, and we're good. This one also has Google Maps, and I'm gonna have to. Oh, okay. Well, it thinks I'm in Corpus Christi. <laughs> I've been back for like a week now, and I missed that place. But this is the original Google Maps that was replaced with Apple Maps in 2012 with iOS 6, and this is pretty cool. I mean. Don't notice much of a difference between the two, but that might just be me. Classic Nike plus iPod app. And I think, hold on, how does it look on iOS 8 actually? Oh, it's a complete difference. I'd rather prefer the look of the one on iOS 5. So it's basically like a old version of the health app. Oh, I don't care about that. It's basically like an older version of the health app that you would see on iPhones now. And it would kind of help you with like working out and stuff. And check this out. I actually managed to get Angry Birds on here and it actually runs pretty good. So let me actually uh, show you guys, put this all the way up and you guys are gonna be amazed. This last, this version of Angry Birds was last updated in 2014. So it's been a while. And the nostalgia is hitting hard, bro, oh my God. I remember I used to play Angry Birds on this, with my, on my dad's old iPhone for us when he used to have one. Let's see, let's just screw around with it just for the heck of it. Like maybe one round. This is how I would always play Angry Birds. And yeah, it's definitely so nostalgic. And as you can tell, I'm not the best at Angry Birds, but yeah. Speakers aren't actually too bad on this thing, and yeah, it's super cool. This one got the updated music app. Uh, it was not till I was 4 or anything lower than that. Where you would have the iPod app, so yeah, it's unfortunate. But you can still use CoverFlow, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, let these load. And yeah, overall, this phone's a pretty cool phone. Um, and yeah, it only cost me about, I think, 20 bucks. Well, not too bad, and I could use this definitely for B-roll when I start actually making my tech reviews. And speaking of my tech reviews, I'm going to give you guys a little update on that at the end of the video. So that's my iPhone 4S. Let's move on to the iPhone SE from 2016. This one is one I've been very excited to get for many, many years since 2018. Because since was, that was the last time I ever used an iPhone SE. And take a look at that. As soon as I grabbed this, the nostalgia came back. Everything about it. It has the old, the original design from the iPhone 5 and 5S. With the 5 being my first ever iPhone. And then, you know, I used this NSE for like 5 months in 2018. So yeah, it's so cool using the first gen Touch ID. It's kind of weird clicking the actual physical button because I'm so used to touching the capacitive button on my iPhone 8. And you know, Touch ID works. It's kind of slow, but it works. I got a couple apps on here. I got YouTube, all, all kind of like the apps that I use the most on my iPhone 8. And this one is a 64 gigabyte model. So if we go to general about, you can see it's on the latest iOS 15.6. It was already up there. I didn't have to update it. And it's a 64 gigabyte iPhone. I went with this one because I feel like, you know, I kind of wanted like a 64 gig iPhone with like uh, one running the latest version. And this is the last version of the iPhone SE because after that it will not receive iOS 16 in September, which is actually in a month, which is crazy. And yeah, this thing is so cool. The, this, the screen itself is, 
It, like, just so tiny. I remember holding this many years ago. It's the same size as my iPhone 5, which I actually bought two iPhone 5s today. Should be coming in soon, so I'll, you, I'll make videos on those, but yeah, super cool. The last time I used an, an, an SE, it was on iOS 12, so I never actually got to try the newer features that it actually got after iOS 13, like the haptic touch, which it didn't have before on um, anything below iOS 13, which that was only like with the iPhone 6S when it came out uh, around that time. And yeah, it's super cool. A lot of these things, it's like, you know, it's kind of weird not feeling the actual haptic feedback with 3D touch, but you know, the functionality is still there. It's just slower and you don't really feel the actual uh, haptic. And the battery health is actually not too bad on this guy. It is at 90%, so it's not too bad. And uh, yeah, absolutely. Oh my God, this thing is amazing. The widgets on this thing, it just looks kind of cramped because of how small the screen is. But yeah, it gives me the uh, the usual um, interface you would see around here. Uh, you know, nothing, nothing too unusual. It looks the same as on my iPhone 8. It just looks all cramped and stuff. And uh, yeah, everything looks so cool. Like the dark interface on this, well, along with the space gray color looks freaking amazing. And like using YouTube in dark mode, all the apps like Instagram, Snapchat, everything I would use with dark mode. It just looks so cool. And um, yeah, just uh, also the music application is actually really cool how it looks as well. One thing I actually kind of want to actually mess around with this again was the camera because I really like the camera quality and it's not too bad. And low light, yeah, it kind of sucks because it's it's an older camera. It's, it has a 12 megapixel camera, at least from the 6S. The only small iPhone, or at least an iPhone this small, that can shoot in 4K. So it's 12 megapixels on the back and it's 1.2 on the front. So it, it's not it's not the best, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Wanna actually get the chance to do a tech review on this guy again. And for this one, there's not much to say about compared to the 4S because this one is still kind of a new phone. Um, but I definitely will remember the, definitely remember the nostalgia of using this and the iPhone 5. This, because I used this specific phone for like, a uh, couple months and also you know because I had the size with it with the iPhone 5 for about a year so yeah it's definitely really cool you know kind of like if you're using a modern 5s basically and it's that's why I got the SE in the first place because it was like a modern 5s and it had better specs and look how long it lasted compared to the 5s the 5s got discontinued three years ago and this one barely got discontinued three years later so big difference so yeah just just about it and the last iPhone with a headphone jack, cannot forget that. And speakers aren't too bad on this. Definitely a lot worse than the A+, but not too bad. I watched a couple of things on here and actually got to hear pretty loudly. So that's the SE. And this one is probably one of the other ones I'm very excited about because this was my very first electronic device. And it's my most popular video right now that is like not part of that website I don't want to talk about. But it's my most popular video and tech review. This is the Samsung Galaxy Tab 3, and there's a little stain on it. This is the Samsung Galaxy Tab 3, the original tablet that I got. Well, I mean, it's not the exact original one. I started that one in the video for some reason years ago. I don't know why, I regret it. Um, but I bought another one. I think this one was like $19, so not, to, oh yeah. I forgot to mention how much I bought the SE for. It was like 60 bucks, so not too bad. And this guy, I bought it for about uh, same price, about 20 bucks as the 4S. It was like $19, something like that. And yeah, this one is, um, it's still an 8 gigabyte model. As you can see on the back, it says 8 gigabytes. But this one is a cellular model. So um, you actually get to see a couple of things. So you turn it on, you look, it looks exactly the same as how it would used to. The noises are definitely different if you can like kind of listen, like listen to that. I like that though, it, it, it kind of makes it feel more fancy, like with with my older one, all you would hear is like bubbles, and I mean, yeah, just kind of like that, but I do kind of miss the old sounds, so you know, if I, if I try to like type something out, let's, let's Google search something, you can already hear the bubbles, so it's like, or no, wait, no, not the, not the, not the typing, it was like the, uh, you can hear it, can I turn the speaker up? What do I have it at? Yeah, it's a max. So the bubbles aren't actually like as like as loud as like what I used to have it on my other one. Um, but I still like it though. And with my other one, the, a lot of the Google Play service weren't were not working anymore. This one, most of that issue is fixed, except for some reason YouTube is not compatible with this. 
because um, here I'll show you guys if I if I try to search up YouTube, like on the App Store, it's not gonna show anything. But what I had to do is I had to actually um, I had to actually let's go to YouTube, Google Play, and then if we look here, uh, I can't. I'm not gonna click on that right here. YouTube apps on Google Play. At least I like that it, it gives it the dark mode already, which is pretty cool. And it won't click. This something had a oh, just just once. Let's open it in Chrome, and you guys will see this app is available for some of your devices. So if we look, let's go to let's find the Galaxy Tab 3. If you look there, there it is, the Samsung Galaxy um, Tab 3 item is not compatible with oh wrong one item is not compatible with your device I don't know why like it just happened out of nowhere for some reason and I can't download YouTube I haven't really watched YouTube on this thing anyway but if I did I'd probably just end up using Google Chrome I don't know maybe if, if there's a fix for this let me know but I have YouTube studio that worked I got Instagram to work but it's kind of an older version Facebook and uh, messenger work Netflix is the only streaming service I can use Apple Music, I also have Apple Music, but it's kind of an older version because it still has the white music icon. For some reason, I cannot get AppToy to load on here because the freaking thing would always crash. Every time I try to load AppToy, it would not work. It works on the other Samsung phone I had, the, the, the other one, the J7. But I find it kind of surprising because it was only like three years ago that it was actually working fine. And now it's like, I guess Samsung just really decided to kill it. I don't know, that might just be me, because I've seen a lot of comments on my Galaxy Tech review um, that um, that it's just me and it works for every for everyone else and that a lot of people still use this tablet as their daily drivers, believe it or not. I've gotten some comments this year of that. I was like, wow, I'm, I feel really sorry if you still have to use this thing on a daily basis because I could never, ever do it again. Maybe for a challenge, but no, definitely no. But yeah, this is a pretty cool tablet. I, I hate that this camera is like, it yells yellow when you like focus off the screen. It makes the white balance look all weird. I don't know, it might be just be this camera because I don't know if my 700, 700 had that problem. But let's look at the camera on this thing because I, I trashed the camera pretty bad on my tech review. And uh, if we look, it's gonna give it a sweet, oh, I was blocking the sensor. And yeah, still hasn't changed. It still has that terrible crop factor if you have it in 720p. And if we rotate to the selfie camera, yeah, it's not it's not very good. Um, <laughs> I remember I was I sometimes look back at that review and laugh at how much I trashed that camera. <laughs> but it's pretty cool. That's basically all the apps I have. I can't really install much games either. I haven't tried some of the ones I used to play. Like, well, actually, I tried one, but it doesn't work. I have to get it through Aptoid, Aptoid, is that, am I saying it right? And as yes, you can tell, like I said earlier, it does not work. The weather works though, I mean that's nice I guess, you can still refresh to the weather. So, yeah you can still refresh it, so the weather still works, that's cool at least. Something with older versions of iOS, like below iOS 9, doesn't work anymore. Uh, maybe this is using like the weather channel, I can't really say. Using off of AccuWeather.com, yeah okay that's probably why that one still works. Um, but yeah. Also, the services don't work at least for some to some extent. I can't download some games. Uh, App Toy just crashes, and I don't know what like, you. Why doesn't YouTube work? Like Google's most popular app does not work on this guy, but this works. It's it's confusing. Maybe it's just me. Let me guys know if you guys can find a workaround around it. There, you can get the app. Like if you go here, like the app shows, and I'll show you guys what happened. Like a new version of YouTube is available. Install it now. And if I go click install now, it takes me to Google Play, to the Play Store. And it's gonna take a while to load, but you guys are gonna see what error I'm going to get. Okay, it's taking really long to load for some reason. Let's try it again. Click install now. Okay, maybe we might get something. I sometimes have like, connectivity issues with this on the Wi-Fi, like it randomly disconnects. I kind of forgot that that was also another problem I was having with my older version, or like my other tablet that I used to have. So I kind of forgot that problem was there, but it looks like this thing is not going to load. But it would always just get get an error message saying that like the app is not available or something. And uh, what else is here? As you can see, like I said, it's a care, it's a cellular model. You have Sprint Zone on this, and uh, does it even work? If I click OK, oh, uh, loading. I don't know when it's going to load. 
Okay, I guess we can go back or not. Oh, there we go. And then you, Google Plus is still on here too, but Google Plus doesn't work anymore. Oh, what if I try it? Oh yeah, could not connect to the server. Um, I don't know if Hangouts works. I'm gonna try it, let's see it. Okay, what's, it's not, oh. Did the tablet freeze? I think the tablet froze. Okay, let's try it again. Oh, does it work? Let's see. Oh yeah, it still works. Kind of. It's, it shows the older interface though. But, yeah, that's about it for this guy. Not much to say other than, you know, I got this of course because it was the original, the, my first ever electronic device. And it was my most popular tech view, so I figured why I could make another one and get more views off of it. And maybe I could go on, because considering that was my first ever tech review. So you gotta keep in mind that, you know, since it was my first review, you know, it's not the greatest and it's fair to criticism. So I definitely want to do one later on in the year um, and uh, hopefully improve it better because I got to like actually script it out and actually write a couple things that like I missed in the last time to actually get the video to look better. And those are all pieces of tech I collected just recently. So um, let me actually show you guys two more that are on the way right now. So I got this iPhone 5 in black and slate and that was the original iPhone 5 I had. Uh, it was in black and slate and also ordered a silver one because I actually want to downgrade this one to iOS 8 and I'm gonna do it with them both with iOS uh, iOS 6 and of course I got some other books from my quantum pad I'm still collecting some these might be the last series of books I get at least for a long while and yeah so those are two more that are on the way right now I got some more I want to collect and and in terms of my tech reviews uh, I, I want to so okay so right now I'm about to finish my final week of work because I start college in a couple days um, and I'll, I'll be without a job for a little while so most of the time afterwards after I'm done with college I could probably just hang at home and I could actually film b-roll footage and get some tech reviews together because I got some devices I got an iPhone 3GS, two iPhone 4S's, iPhone SE, um, the Galaxy Tab 3, uh, the Galaxy J7 Refined from 2018 and the iPad 2 and the iPad Mini 1 so I kind of have a lot more than I actually originally kind of had planned for like a, a little while ago I kind of had some devices planned to have but it's already at, I have way more than I originally wanted to have so you know and I'm expanding the collection even further so yeah so hopefully maybe starting in September I could start bringing back tech reviews the last one I did was a last May on the Nintendo Switch and that was the only tech review I posted in 2021. So yeah, I gotta really get my things together with this series because I kind of miss it. So hopefully September we can see uh, those tech reviews come back. And yeah, that's about it for this video, guys. So a couple other videos I'm working on right now. Uh, well, right now, when you guys are seeing this, my Corpus Christi vlog should be out, hopefully. I'm in the process of editing it. Um, right now, currently, I'm in the process of editing it. I stayed for like three days and um, um, day one, the part of day one is finished. I just gotta do day two and day three. Hopefully it won't take me too long. And I got two other FDLC videos that I already recorded and I'll put those out later. Maybe by the time you guys are watching this, they'll be out or if I'm gonna post this one first, I don't know. And another video where I wanted to show you guys every fire, the firefighter simulators I used to play before I started my FDLC videos. And when I got interested in that series like many years back. And for now, I guess that's it. And other videos, of course, I have planned. I'll figure them out later. And yeah, guys, so that's going to be it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.